You know what? I came down here to the drugstore to pick up my vitamins and my other things that I make my tonic with. And I'm going to tell you something. I was going to go in Walmart just to pick up some vegetables. But I can't go in Walmart. It's too dangerous. It's just too dangerous. I sat there on the parking lot and I realized that it's a dangerous place. And I'm not bashing Walmart, the retailer, because all Walmarts are not the same at the same time. But I commend Walmart for having a time when the older people can go in and shop in peace. Because I'm going to tell you, the things I've seen just make me ask this question. Make me make this statement. And you got the nerve to have on a damn mask. You out in public with your pajamas on, them funky pajamas and those house shoes with that funky sour bonnet on your head that you got up and left your house in and you gonna go back to your house and wallow around in your house on your furniture around your children with those same funky nasty dingy bunny slippers on and you got the nerve to have on a damn mask you get out of your car with a bathrobe on. Yes, I saw a ninja with a plaid ass bathrobe on. The belt dragging the ground. With his feet in some two little slides. With his toes hanging over the front of those slides. Like a desperate man about to jump off a cliff to commit suicide. And you got the nerve to have on a damn man. Then I see another one with some, with some, seriously, these really are dreadful locks. Not dreadlocks, dreadful locks. Nasty, matted, with lint and everything else in them. An unkempt beard. His pants sagging that you can see the crack and cleft of his ass. And he got the nerve to have on a damn man. Then, as I thought maybe by the time they count the people that I could go in, I see another one sliding her feet. This trifling helper won't even pick, she too trifling to pick her feet up off the ground. Fellas, if you ever see a heifer and she drag her feet and she too trifling to pick her feet up, leave her where you find her. I'm telling you now, I'm trying to save your life. But you slide. Your feet look like a baked sweet potato has burst open in the back. You got the nerve to have on some long orange fingernails that have lifted from the nail bed. You got a phone up to your face and the case looks like the asphalt out here on I-55. And you have the nerve to have hair down to your waist. And when we got downwind, it was matted, cheap hair that smelled like a goat's ass. And you got the nerve to have on a mask. But to top it all off, a car passes by. Ninjas in their six deep. Smoke. All of them sucking off the same end of the same blunt. The car stops. The smoke gets out of the car. Before they do. And each one gets out walking like a crab with his pants sagging below his ass. And each one of them had the nerve to have a nasty, dingy mask hanging around their neck. And they pulled the mask up right before they got ready to get in the car. Yes! I saw all of that and more. And all of them had the nerve to have on a damn mask. You know what I said? Let me get my ass back over here to my side of the town. I was looking for some turkey wings and some turkey necks. They don't have them over here. So I ventured out, but I said, let me get back home and eat me some vegetables and leave this meat alone because baby, look at him. 
I couldn't handle it. I had to come to the house. Maureen Tucker, Hannah, I thank God every day for every time that you fussed, walked the flow, threw a shoe, walked us across the ass with a wet dish towel, plaited three switches, and talked noise all night long. I didn't understand then, mama, but I do now. I understand now. Let me tell y'all something. All of this ain't gonna be on COVID-19. Now, if a 75, 80 year old person who leads a productive life and is vital and valuable to her community and her family, or uh, his community and his family happens to be a person with an underlying condition and they get the coronavirus and they fight for their life and die, that is sad. That is sad. But some of these bottom feeders that's hard-headed and nasty and trifling, when they get it and leave him, baby, that might just be natural selection. You hear me? Yes, I said it. This ain't hate speech. Well, it might be hate speech because I hate to see nasty trifling folks who put in other people's life. You don't give a damn about your life, but you going to risk everybody else's life. Let me tell y'all what's wrong with some of these people. COVID-19 ain't the most dangerous thing about them. You better know that some of these people out here ain't got nothing to lose. They life already cat raggedy. They don't give a damn about themselves. And you better stay six feet because they don't give a damn about you. And they got the nerve to have on a mask.